How's it going guys? We are on to the ninth update for Forza Motorsport. It's just been announced and it's a relatively big one. It's very focused on endurance racing, a new car pack, which is technically free, and a few other interesting changes as well. We're gonna cover the whole update nine in this video. So sit back, relax, and take a look at what's coming. A very quick overview of what is to come. Forza Motorsport adds endurance races just in time for Le Mans. Update 9 is here and we're celebrating events renowned for pushing both car and driver to the limit in Endurance Month. They've got new endurance races, a couple of new cars and one of the most iconic endurance racing tracks in the world, Sebring International Raceway. That is the new track coming in Update 9. And along with that, you can suit up and drive like a member of the Porsche 2024 Endurance Racing Team with the 2024 Porsche Penske Motorsport 963 and a custom Porsche racing suit. This is the car pack that is appearing in this update, which will actually be available for free for the first week. So make sure you get on this game straight away, get this car pack for free while you can. It comes with the Porsche 963 and the Porsche racing suit, really cool. Now the release time for this update, the update will release today. If you're watching this video, when this is released, it is available today um, at the times you can see on screen while all of the special events and stuff doesn't don't roll over until Wednesday but the update is available to download today. Now a bit more about the free car pack or car that you can get. So in celebration of the big race you can claim these two free new items the car and this suit on the Microsoft Store and Steam between June the 10th up to June the 19th. So if you're watching this anytime before June the 19th you can redeem this for free. If after, if you miss out on it, you will have to pay for it. It will be five dollars, four pounds, five euros. Um, you'll have to buy it, and obviously, it's only one car and the suit, and it's not it's not included in the car pass, the deluxe, the standard, the, or the premium editions. Everyone has to buy this unless they get it for free in the first week. I can imagine that most people is going to get it for free, so make sure you get on that. Sebring returns to motorsport. As I said, Sebring International Raceway is the track that's coming to the game in Update 9. All throughout Endurance Month and thereafter, drivers are invited to master its challenging track layout, the 3.74 mile full circuit and 2 mile short circuit. I presume that means there's only two circuit layouts for Sebring, the short and the full circuit. This will be available straight away. It's good to see new tracks coming. There are still many more left though that they haven't added yet. So hopefully we can expect more. Let's have a quick look at the first new tour, the Endurance Tour. The Endurance Tour will push your speed, strategy and stamina to the limit with a 45 minute length races and two spotlight cars for each of the four showcase series. So we've got four different series within this Endurance Tour with 45 minute length races. You can see the two cars that you can use in each series there. If you complete all four of these endurance series, you can get the first new car, the 1988 Nissan number no. 24 Nissan Motorsports International R88C. That is, there's not many new cars in this update as far as I can see. We've obviously got the Porsche, we've got this Nissan, there's another one as well which we'll touch on in a minute. All of these endurance tours, these, these in the series, don't have to be completed in that particular week. So you have until July 24th to actually complete all of those four. So those new endurance races sound quite cool. Now that relates straight to the Spotlight cars which have also been announced. Now. I don't want people to be disappointed by this, but I don't believe that any of these eight spotlight cars are new. If you'll notice, there's actually two different spotlight cars per week as opposed to the standard one. So there's eight spotlight cars over the course of those four weeks. We can see what they are here. None of them are new as far as I'm aware. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they are. And these are the cars to be used in the endurance tour that we've just spoken about. VIP members will also get an exclusive 15% month long discount on the 2023 Cadillac Racing V Series. That's available for discount over the whole month where, there is, where there's also an extra four cars here, one car per week that's available for discount for VIP members. So that is what you've got ahead of you for the next month in terms of spotlight cars and VIP cars. We've got a new open class tour as per usual. With each update to Forza Motorsport, the open class tour gets refreshed with new events and new reward car. In this particular update, the Drivatar AI opponents will be at the height behind the wheel of multiple generations of street cars that build into GT race cars. From performance classes from B, A, S and R, if you complete this open class tour before July the 10th, you will receive the 1970 Chevron B16. I believe that is also a new car and I think that's the third and final final new car for this particular update. 
not a massive amount of new cars but what can we say some updates are going to be a bit smaller than others when it comes to cars at least we've got lots of new features and races in this update featured multiplayer has an endurance series the endurance series in featured multiplayer ratchets up the strategy and focus on the most competitive drivers for up to one hour per race with a different division each week these races will require a renewed focus on strategies around pitting tire compounds and fuel levels so we're getting hour-long races in the featured multiplayer for this endurance series and there's going to be a different class each week we can see what they are here they are also permanently adding 30 minute long races to the event location within both the Forza touring car and Forza GT series on multiplayer. So that's also good to see. I know that there's a lot of people out there who have been requesting longer races, big endurance races. Well, we've got permanent 30 minute long ones here and one hour races for this particular update. Not too bad. They do note that throughout endurance month, we'll be looking at tire wear scaling, pitting, ensuring lobbies are filled and active and making sure that everything is balanced as we intend it to be. So maybe this is their little test of how endurance races will just work in Forza Motorsport. Maybe some more, even bigger ones to come in the future. But there we go. We can see all the details about that there. Featured rivals is obviously a thing. Again, we can see all the information here. Get inside the 2023 Cadillac Racing V Series R, which is one of the discount cars for VIP members, and say hello to Sabring. We've got all of the different featured rivals times here. There's actually quite a lot. I think there's more than usual here. We've obviously got the Sabrin Senna Legacy one. We've got the Porsche 963 one there we've got the vip exclusive one we've got the new featured track one we've got race to the top with bridgestone that's the bridgestone challenge i was talking about and then one per spotlight car so there's a lot of featured rivals on this particular month and yeah there you go there's the information if you want to read it now that's most of the new features we've got some game improvements and release notes some little things tweaked and changed within there now in addition to the new endurance theme content this update produces some minor fixes to Forza motorsport now they do note that this list of changes in this update is a little bit smaller than usual while they prepare to work towards some additional improvements coming this summer. So update 10, update 11, we can only presume. Um, they've noted a few little PC related things that they are looking on and they want us to help sort of investigate the problem. So make sure to keep that noted if you're having those issues. But here are the five things that they note that they are changing that are to do with cars and just other stuff in general. Uh, it's not very big, there will be more in the release notes, but these are the ones that they have noted. They're also bringing some changes and fixes to Laguna Seca and Nürburgring Nordschleife. And they have also added new suits to the driver customization menu, including a rainbow suit that will be available to everyone who plays in June, and a new Bridgestone suit, which can be earned by participating in the upcoming Bridgestone Rivals event. I believe that's a Rivals event that I just talked about a minute ago, the Bridgestone one. So there's a few little changes there. Now here are the track specific updates that they've done for Laguna Seca and Nordschleife. Um, the pit lane exit at Laguna Seca has been updated to match its authentic location in the real world and we have fixed corrupt ambient occlusion on some track areas. In addition, they have adjusted the curbing at the Nürburgring for 2024 accuracy and removed some of the flags across the track and added speaker poles throughout. So a few little random Nürburgring changes there. Um, I'm surprised they've changed the curbing. I feel like that's quite a dramatic change and because of this they have reset the leaderboards for both tracks now i don't know what the community is going to think of that one a leaderboard reset kind of out of nowhere i don't think people knew that was coming i certainly didn't but there you go some track changes there and i believe that's everything it's definitely an action-packed update people are going to be happy to see endurance races come the lack of new cars is a bit meh but we can't have a lot of cars in every update they seem to be heavily focusing on the endurance race aspect of this update so let's appreciate that after all this update is completely free and what do you think update 10 has in store for us all thank you very much for watching guys live a life if you've enjoyed and i'll see you all later